one of our biggest challenges with converting over to Inventor after using Fusion is, is how to how to make them similar so that we don't lose too much ground. Here's what we're up to. We're going to create some parts and we're going to put them together in an assembly. Eventually, we're going to create this exploded view of them. So let me go ahead and hit play so you can see what that's going to look like. So we'll be creating that. And then also, we'll be creating a detailed drawing where we have an exploded view, a bill of materials, and an assembly drawing. So let's get started. First thing I'll do is actually just start a new file. And this time, because I want to draw all of them together, just like we would with Fusion, I'm going to go to standard.iam. So I'll double click that. And I'm just going to save. I will save, just like we did with Fusion. So I'm going to go up here to save. I am going to create a folder this time. Like mine says wooden blocks, so I'm going to call this one. For me, I'll call it wooden blocks 2. You might just want to call yours wooden blocks. And for assembly, I'll just call it wooden block assembly. All right, so I've taken care of some of that stuff. Now I'm going to go up here to create. So I'll say create, and for this first part, I'll uh, I'll make this one the cylinder. I notice where the folder is, so I want to make sure I've got it in the right folder. If not, I click here, and I can get to the right folder. And I'll hit OK. So here's the key, and this is where we often get messed up already. I've got to click the screen somewhere, anywhere where I want to create that part. So I'll just click here. Look at the top, how it changed. Now I'll just go to Start 2D Sketch. So I'm going to create a circle right there on the origin, just like we normally would. I'm going to say, give me a one-inch circle, and I'll hit E for extrude, right? And I'll just go ahead and make this one two. So I've got a one-inch circle that's extruded two inches. I will go ahead up here to the material where it says generic right now. I'll click there, and I'm just going to say aluminum 6061 right here. If that doesn't show up, I want to make sure that I'm in the Autodesk Material Library, right? Because it could be different if I'm in an Inventor Material Library. All right. So there we go. I've got one part done. Now I'm going to hit Return up here. All right. Notice that takes me right back out to the assembly environment. So I'll go up here to Create. And this time I'm going to say Triangle. And I want to make sure that it's going to save in the correct folder, so I hit OK there. And again, just click somewhere on the screen. Look how it changed back into that sketch environment, right? So start 2D sketch. I'm going to click that XY plane. I'm just going to take a line tool, start on the origin, and go up. That's one inch. I'll just come down and connect the corners here, something like that. So one inch here, one inch here, and then just kind of connect the endpoints. I'll go ahead and extrude that one, and I'll just keep it at one inch. This one, for material, let's go ahead and make that one. Let's make it out of maple. So there it is. There's maple. I'll go ahead and return now. While I'm going through this process, I might as well just continually hit save, right? And now this is just saying, hey, you've created some changes in this assembly. Do you want us to update them? Notice how they already say yes, but if they didn't, we would say yes to all and then hit OK. Now let's save that file. So I'm going to go back up here to create one more time. So I hit create. This one I'm going to call the arch block. And again, make sure it's in the correct folder and hit OK. So again, click the screen somewhere. Notice the environment has changed. We'll hit Start 2D Sketch. Click on that XY plane. I'll go ahead and start drawing. So I've created two inches by one inch, a square. Now I'm just going to come and hit the circle tool. I'll click right there in the center. And I'm just going to make this a one inch diameter. All right. I could use the trim right up here. The X is shortcut for trim and inventor, so I can click that and get rid of that line and this line. I don't really have to do that. But it does help later on. So I'll hit extrude. And I'll just click the shape. And make it one inch is fine. This one, let's go ahead and make it out of... Let's go with walnut this time. So all the way down because they're alphabetized, right? So there's walnut. And I'll hit return. So now I'll hit save. Remember, yes to all, they're already good. So I'll just hit OK. 
All right, so I've got I've got my files taken care of. I've created all of them. Now I'm going to use the joint command, and I'm going to start putting things together here. So let's take a look at how to do that. So I'll go up here to joint, and I'm just going to click the, the circle here. Notice how it says automatic. If I click in that box, though, look at these. There's rigid, rotational, slider. All of these are familiar, right? So I'll just keep it at automatic for now, and I'll click the center of the cylinder. It says a grounded component component is selected to move. Would you like to continue? We can hit yes on that. That's fine. And we'll click it there. Now remember, grounding, typically we would ground the component that everything goes to. So I would actually probably ground the arch block. All right. For now, let's hit apply so that we've got it taken care of. And let's, let's talk about that grounding. So over here, I could just right click and say grounded. Now notice I'm on the arch block now and I'd hit grounded. And that makes sure that everything is going to ground there. All right, so let's go back up to joint. Same concept. I'm not really changing anything. I'm just going to click the this part of the triangle and I'll come up here and click the cylinder. All right, so now we'll, we'll zoom in on that. And we'll just hit save. So let's take it a step further. And now let's see. Let's create that exploded view. All right, so let's take it apart. So let's go back into our assembly. We really don't have to. I'm just going to go up here to new. And say IPN. Standard.IPN. This is for a presentation and inventor. So we got to find the assembly, right? So I'm going to go in here to the folder I put it in. Here's the wooden box 2 folder for me. There's the assembly. And here it's pretty simple. I'm going to say tweak components. I'm going to click on one of them and I'm just going to start moving things. Once I got it moved, I'll hit the check mark. Now I'll click tweak components. Click here and I guess I'll move it this way. I hit the check mark. I really don't need to move the last one. So I'll just do that and now I hit play and we can see that we've taken it all apart. All right, so we're done. We'll go ahead and hit save up here. This one we'll call the exploded view. All right, make sure it's in the right folder, and we'll hit save. Okay, so now we've got one other thing to do, and this is kind of the bigger deal. We've got to create this drawing. So in the drawing, we've got an exploded view. We've got a bill of materials, and we've got an assembly drawing. Okay, so let's talk about how to take care of that. So I'm just going to start with a new, and I'm going to pull up my template. If I don't have my template, I'm going to have to use standard, right? And the first thing I'll do is I'll just hit base. And the last thing I had up was the exploded view. If not, I can click right here and kind of navigate to where it is. Or whatever. All right. It does have it up, so I'll just hit OK. And really, I'm going to pull this over. I'll just kind of put it where I want it. I want that one right there. Now, a couple of things. I don't really want the trails to show, so I'm going to actually double-click it. I want it shaded, right here, shaded. But here's Show Trails, so I don't want the trails there. And I'll hit OK. So there we go. Now let's go ahead up here and let's get that bill of materials in there, right? So let's go to annotate, just like we would dimension, right, in a dimension drawing. Now let's go ahead and say balloons. So I'm going to click there and I'll click on the triangle and then it's going to say, all right, this is the kind of, it's it's basically setting up that bill of materials for us. Okay, okay. and it says, do you want to enable the bill of material view? We'll have to click OK there. Now, until we double-click, though, it's going to keep letting us place these, so it'll let me do all this kind of stuff, right? I don't need that, so let me hit Escape. Let's try that again. Balloon. Click the cylinder here. And let's do the arch block. Okay, so we've got it done. Now let's get that parts list up there, right? Here's the parts list. This says, what view? So really, all we got to do is come down here and click the view. Right, and then we'll hit OK, and then it gives us that. I usually put mine in the top right corner. All right, and there it is. There's our view. Let's go ahead now, and let's look at our original here. 
So now let's get this assembly view taken care of. All right. So let's go back in here to our exploded view, and we'll go back to place views right here, and we'll say base. I right, pulled up this this again. We don't need that. So we're gonna actually go here, and we're gonna find our folder that we saved it in, right? So here's our wooden blocks two folder, and I'm actually just gonna pull up the assembly this time. So I hit open. Okay, now it's got, it's pulled up this view. So what I need to do, see that's right there, that's more of an isometric. So I'm going to hit front. There's where I want, right? Now I'll click the triangle here, triangle here. There's a right side, right? And here's the top, and here's an isometric. And I just hit OK. But before let's do that, remember these are all three-dimensional so we're gonna go ahead and shade these all so we'll go ahead and do that now all right so now what we've got to do is just kind of play around with the spacing a little bit I just kind of make this look a little better now typically we would do an assembly view here's how I would do it I would get some of the overall so I go to annotate and I'd say dimension and I'd say all right from here to here what's the total width Actually, I would put this one, and I'd say, all right, from here to here, that's maybe two inches. Let's, and really, honestly, I think this this dimension is gonna look better if we did click on it and delete it. It'll look probably better if we put it here. And then we'll put something here. Say, well, from here to here, well, that's 3.71. And then maybe from here to here. All right, what I usually do with assembly views, the reason I would only put dimensions on it, for now anyway, I only put dimensions on it just because I'm trying to say, all right, I've got this thing. I want to put it on a shelf. I want to put it in a case. What is the overall total volume this thing's going to take up? And that's really what I'm looking for here. It's just the overall size of things.